Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome to this video and happy new year because it is officially 2017 and let's just get something out of the way. I cut my hair. I lobbed it off. It is very short. It's a bob. It starts shorter back here and gets longer up front. Um, you know, I went into the new year thinking that I wanted to do something. I wanted to change up the way I looked. I have looked the same for a very long time, with the exception of adding some piercings. Um, I haven't done anything to my hair color or my hair. Literally in like six years, I've just kept the same haircut. So I went in and I was like, I want to do this. And they did it. And I'm loving it right now. That might change. Um, I definitely think that when this grows out... I, I won't be cutting my hair shorter, um, again, for a long time, because I think this is going to take forever to grow out. Um, currently, I have no product in it, because I just got home from work, and all the product has, like, really run its way out. Um, but anyways, without talking about that anymore, other than just saying I chopped my hair off, um, Happy New Year! Like I said before, it's officially 2017, I hope you guys had a safe and happy New Year! And I hope that you guys did some fun stuff. And if you made New Year resolutions, leave them in the comments below. I would love to know what they were. Mine was really just to say yes to more things, be happier, and leave myself open to meeting someone. Um, I have been very guarded in that sense for a very long time. And I myself feel like I am ready to officially leave myself open to the possibility of finding someone who I can be with and share life with. So those are my New Year's resolutions. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Doing my December favorites. Um, I wish it was more exciting of a video, but it's my favorites. I have a whole bunch of new stuff that I wanted to talk you guys through. So without me rambling, let's get into the favorites. First thing, I received a gift card to Old Navy for Christmas and I went and I got some stuff and the first thing I picked up and none of it was clothing by the way none of it the first thing I picked up was this cute water bottle and it says mermaid potion with little shells on it and I just thought it was so cute it's a metal um, bottle it's metal and it has a lid with a big straw and the top pops out like that and you can sip it and it has a thing that you can clip to a bag or anything and that's a really bad sound and it's a pretty good size I mean that's my hand I have pretty big hands um but it's a really nice travel size to chuck in a purse if you're going for the day or a little backpack and it's a really nice alternative to using plastic bottles which I mean I do recycle but this is just it's solid and usable my next favorite is I've gotten hooked on a few TV shows. Now I'm going to lump these two together because they're both TV shows. The first TV show that I have fallen in love with is Supergirl. Now it's been on Netflix for a minute and I just kind of got clicked into it and I've watched the entire season in the weekend. And oh my god, Melissa Benoist, is that, if that's how you say her name. Um, Melissa Benoist, who is on Glee by the way is so amazing. I love her Supergirl. I think she's great. I am tight. I am totally excited to see Tyler Hochkin, Hochlin, um, as Superman because that was just announced in the show. The second show in conjunction with that is The Flash. Um, I got hooked into The Flash because he appeared in an episode of Supergirl and I didn't realize that he had his own TV show. So I've been watching that and I'm only on episode like four of the three seasons but nonetheless there are amazing tv shows if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it they are great yeah, next thing is i have gotten a harry potter wand keychain which i'll be putting my keys on because it's a little wand and i got a deathly hollows necklace that I ordered from Amazon and it's on an adjustable choker and it's just all around really really cool. Um, I might put it on a different chain just because like I feel like the cord while it's adjustable it doesn't stay adjusted in one spot on my neck 
and it just, I mean, it's super easy to, I mean, you just kind of barely tug on it and it gets, and I work with kids, so I'm thinking that maybe, um, cord is not the best thing, but it's really cute anyways. I love it. Sorry if the camera's really far away. I'm experimenting with shooting the camera further and zooming it in a little more. So let me know if it works better this way, by the way. So those are my favorites. I have been excited to use those for favorites. Which I spoke about in my last video are my Beats headphones. They are, I'm not going to take them out, but they are the black and silver solo to Lux Edition, um, which I don't know exactly what Lux means. Um, Lux Edition headphones. These have been living with me in my purse, my car, everywhere, just because I can always find an excuse to listen to music, but these have just been amazing, and I've been loving them as I knew I would. thing I've been really, really loving and I've emptied it out for this video, is this little silver satchel. Um, it actually doesn't section out a satchel, it's like a silver bag. But you can not see in pink, it says pretty. And I am going to use this bag, because it's pretty decent size, and it's really nice to take like on airplanes if you travel, but this is gonna be kind of like how guys have, um, like, whatever kits they're called, but like their bathroom kit or their travel kit for stuff. This is going to be my travel kit, because I really don't have one. I legit just use Ziploc bags. <laughs> um, so I think this is going to be my little travel kit for when I travel places. And just as pretty. But it'll have like my makeup in it, any little travel perfume in it, any, um... Skin stuff, hand sanitizer. Um, I've been using it um, to put my entire set of ELF or ELF um, skincare in it because it's pretty big. I mean, it opens up pretty big and it's a good size. Um, but that's what I've been using it for now. Um, and it goes in my little bathroom drawer, but it's all in one place. And I love having it all in one place. And this is also from Old Navy. And I think this was only like four dollars not even I think it was like three something and I think this was six so in case I didn't tell you and these are just expensive going on the same line as makeup I have been experimenting with some new stuff the first thing being the ELF kabuki brush it's tiny I don't have the big one but oh my gosh this, like, I wish you guys could feel it. It's a, it's a kabuki brush. So it's meant to do, like, powder and, like, big, heavy makeup. Um, but it is the softest brush ever. And I doubt it's going to stay that way. And they have a bigger one where, like, the bottom's, like, that big on it. So I've been obsessed with this. Because it's just, I just use it to put some powder on. Do a little whatever all over my face. But it's so soft, and I absolutely love it. The next thing is this concealer. Um, it's concealer, and, and I actually have better concealer, but for ease-wise, it's just a stick, and I just dab it on. Um, it swatches really well. I'll just swatch it on my middle finger there. Um... Now, I've had this concealer before, and was really kind of unimpressed with it. And I'm a huge fan of e.l.f. products. Um, but I want to give another go, because I think I honestly, I got it at Target, and this I got at um, an actual, like, nice company other than Target. Um, and when I got it, my tube was cracked, and this kept, like, the actual concealer stick kept falling out. Um, and no, I did not write them. It just, it is what it was. So I'm going to retry it and see if this one is any better. And it's in the shade Ivory, because I'm pale, as pale can be. So, that's that. Um, the next thing that I am really liking from e.l.f. 
is the Volume Plumping Mascara. Now, I have the Lengthening Mascara, which I'm a huge fan of. And you guys also know that I'm a huge fan of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's the Holy Grail of Mascaras in my book. Um, I am really, really on the fence with this one. I'm putting this video just because I've been using it, like, every day. Um, just as, like, a quick little... But I have found that it's a longer tube. And you really need to coat this stuff on. But for just an everyday mascara, it's great. Um, along that line, I am loving, I'm wearing it right now, this red lipstick from e.l.f. And this is in the shade Red Carpet. We all know, and there's a little bottom of it. We all know I'm obsessed with red lips. And I am going to use this because it's a little travel one. It's tiny. I mean, it's that big. Um, but lipsticks really aren't that big. But with anyways, um, I've been really loving it. I think it's a really nice shade. It goes on pretty matte, even though I don't think it's a matte lip. Um, it is. It does go on really nice. And I don't feel like I have a few um, things because it's not like really pigmented. You have to build on it. And even though you have to build on it, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. It's really nice. Like, it just kind of absorbs. Because I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips, but I know I am. The last thing, which was in my favorites, is my little cubby blanket. Um, I finally opened it. And it, it looks, it's meant to look like the, um... Cubs, you can't see my face. It's meant to look like the Cubs uniform with the shirt buttons and the collar. And then obviously it has the Cubby Bear. Um, it's a really nice fleecy blanket. I have been using it at night. Um, I've had it on me while I've been filming um, around my legs. Um, I've been using it at night um, on my bed for extra heat if I need it. And I've also been using it when I'm just like laying on my couch. I just need to snuggle. So it's been amazing. Next favorites is the Veronica CD. The Veronica's, now I know it's been out for like two years and I downloaded it the second it came out, but I never really did a video on it. And if I did, I apologize. Um, but I've been really liking, I've been, it's been in my CD player in my car for about a week and a half. Now I've actually got the physical CD. Um, because I have an old car and it can't play my iPod. So I actually had to buy the physical CD off of Amazon. Didn't take real long out here. It only took like three days. So thanks, Amazon. Um, I love it. I think it's a really great album. It's the album that people were waiting for for like seven years. And I think it's amazing. The songs are great. The production's great. They're amazing. They blow my mind with whatever they do. So, good CD. Those were my favorites. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the notification button so you get notified when I upload a video. And I upload videos every week on anything and everything. So if you guys have a suggestion, leave it in the comment. If you've used any of these products I put in this video, again, comment, tweet me, uh, tweet me, Tumblr, Snapchat me. I'll put all the links below Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a good week.